after Bolatin uh, won the election and became president, he did one, something that was very uh, unnecessary in a nation by just without thinking, removed the, the fuel subsidy of what they call fuel subsidy. More or less, liberal, said he liberalized the, the oil uh, price in Nigeria to flow with the international rate. That's basically what they did. I don't know if there, were, there, will be, there have been fuel subsidy before. I, I don't know that. And I don't want to get into that debate. But in a country, for somebody to take over the presidency or to take over the headship of anything, and in one swoop, the day you were being sworn in, and say you are increasing one commodity, essential commodity for that matter, the price by 450%. It's a disaster. I said that when they did it, and I was a bit, a, a bit upset and worried because, you know, we've been in, in this democratic pursuit for a very long time. And President Tinubu has been part of it. He's part of it. He's been part of it from almost even the uh, late 80s. So we say part of the persons who made sure that the military left the system to enthrone the democracy that we, we, we enjoy today, he was uh, uh, on the forefront. And this is the first time one of us became president. And all of this is happening. How can you do that? I'm, before the gun, it would be, as I said it the first week, that the economy and the government and the country can, it will take years before we can re recover from um, uh, that single damage. And it's happening. And for, all, for, for me to think that somebody who's been part of this struggle is now the person who took power. And the Nigerian masses started to suffer poverty, hunger. The humanity devalued. You watch different videos, films, and so you see Nigerians struggling for food. And it, it, uh, before, you might say, oh, that uh, whatever statistics they, they gave to say Nigeria is the, uh, 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 the capital uh, of poverty in the world. Now, I, I doubt if up to 80% of Nigerians can eat good meal. Not up to 20% can eat good meal in a day. Therefore, the poverty level has gone deeper and deeper and deeper. Then, and with that, a lot of things will follow. Insecurity, instability in the economy, big businesses. If, if, if you're a, 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 um, uh, a committed businessman, and when things are moving like this, the way it's going now, today the dollar is uh, when, when this administration took over power, the dollar was, um, was uh, less than about 600 and something naira. Then we saw it go to 700, 800, 900, 1,000. So we are in a, in a big mess. How they will handle it and the type of people around the, the presidency I have serious concerns about because they, they, uh, those kind of persons who are around him now were not part of the people who were in the trenches, who knew how difficult it was for us to struggle and get democracy on our plate in this country. And um, so now, when people like us, you, you know, you, 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 you're, you're disturbed. Apart from the hunger, you're disturbed. N N Nigerians will lose faith completely mm. in the democratic system. If in a constitutional government we are facing this, you can imagine when, when, when there's an, uh, that's, uh, a, a government that does not take over through the 
uh, a constitutional means. And under that kind of space, what may happen? Because constitution brings order. There must be order of a sequence of uh, of 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 uh, of uh, of, uh, of, uh, of uh, leadership in any organization for it to work well. Uh, uh, this is a country. It, 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 it's it's diffi it's it's uh, difficult and um, it's painful to me that um, that whatever is happening now and the way people people are seeing the situation. Yes, people have got, gotten to almost ground zero level. For them, if they're under ground zero level, <laughs> level it's, it's better. If, if anything should happen, they may feel that it's better than, 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 than uh, before they go to hell and so on. But that's why I feel bitter. Because it's the people, it's one of the persons who worked very hard to see the military off that is making some of us who were you know, in that struggle to look, ah, so all you're looking for, uh, all you're wanting is to come and devour Nigeria and put, and, uh, in Nigeria where you hear about billions of Naira being stolen, billions of Naira going here and there, people are paying for appointments, people are, are, are paying politicians to be able to, uh, uh, to see Mr. President, to, to see the person in, in the villa, people are paying to get positions, that's weird. That's weird. At times, we, some of us wonder, is it the man Tinubu that was in this both Nadeko struggle and all other form of struggles that we, we, we were on? And when I look back, I wonder, you know, people who were in that struggle and people who lost their life. I look at uh, MKO. I think of him. I think of, uh, of uh, Shegu. Yaradwa. Not, not Umoru, not President Umoru. Sheku Yaradua, General Sheku Yaradua. General Sheku Yaradua was the number two man to, 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 to Obasanjo when he was a, a military uh, uh, leader of the country. A decent man. And he was involved in the struggle to return the government to democratic rule. Despite the fact he was in the military, he wanted to use his no, number one, his knowledge of the military, and then knowledge of the, the political space where he, he, he stayed for more than uh, 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 10, 15 years, to blend a government that can, 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 can reposition uh, this country. Some of us happened to have worked with him. And we had a, 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 a particular way of knowing Chubo Kadibo and all, all of those. And so and now, Bharat Nubu has been involved in all this struggle, happened to, to be this. Therefore, when, when people think that civilians are, are bad, you find out that uh, people like us will now not have uh, the decision to say no. So it's painful. Um, things are happening around us, and people are hungry. People are hungry. But then, it's a democratic process. Unfortunately, the National Assembly, you think that, come on, this is democracy. And we have three good arms of government. Where is the uh, National Assembly? <laughs> National Assembly is singing on your mandate, uh, we stand. Most irresponsible. Most irresponsible. But do you, do, they, uh, do you blame them? When the governors we have uh, have completely seized their state, then for all they do is give you uh, that's their own lackeys as people who will be there at the National Assembly and so on. When they are there, then they stand on uh, a, a mandate that, is, uh, that has created and, uh, and look at what is going on now. You see, House of Rep people, senators, they carry a, a truck of rice and so on because what we are doing now is palliative administration. For the first time, in a, in a country where there is no war, in a country where 
there are no natural disaster that happened. And then the government chose when they came in that it's going to be a palliative. They give to House of Red people 100 and something million naira, give them a, a bag of rice to go and be sharing on the street. Why have these people decided to dehumanize us like this? Why can't we go into production? One that we can do with ease tomorrow. They, they're going to, now we, we don't even have rice anymore in the country because all the rice, all the rice, both imported ones and the ones that we, we farmed last year and two years back, has been bought because this government gave to almost every House of Rep member one trailer load of rice to go and share in their constituency. Gave to some senators a lot more. And that rice is not available in Nigeria. And that's, the, the price of rice will, will get up to uh, 1,200. Because if we, if we, if we, even that quantity is given to, 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 to that's already approved, for all the House of Rep members, senators, and ETC, apart from the other cash, over what over 100 and something million, they have not finished giving to them. Some constituencies have not, have not received. Now, I want to tell you how they will. The, 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 the strategy I see is to complicate the, 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 even the, the, corrupt, the corrupt system that we have. Is that now they get the, uh, the rice, they, they get the yam, they get everything, and the hunger will continue. Before you know it, the second year will pass. The third year becomes election year. Election year, they will now bring out money. Because people are hungry and dying. They give you, before it was 33,000, 5,000, 20, 20,000. Now they can give you 200. And the 200 will blow your head because, or even 500. It will blow people's head. Before you know it, this same population that seem to feel this, ah, they say, if it's this 500 I got, I'm, I'm, uh, we're going there. I've always been against the quality of governors that we, we produced since during the dispensation to come to the to become president. Because all, all most of them did while they are governors is to seize the state. They become the alpha and omega of the state. They control tra traditional institutions. They control all the local governments, all the local governments in their pocket, and almost every, that's every voice. So, and when they travel, when most of them travel, they, they, they carry the check of the party. They are commissioners and advisors are like, more or less, errand boys. So they are the state. So now that you have some of these governor gov 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 elements transiting to become president, transiting to become heads in the, in, in, in the, in the assembly, we have problem. Because you having uh, the imperial majesties in charge. The way they were imperial majesties when they were at the state level, they want to do that at the national level. Thanks for checking out Symphony on YouTube. Please be sure to subscribe and like our videos for updates.